better every day. The little small mistakes, just try to get better. That was that was my mindset every day. It wasn't no nothing bigger, nothing more, nothing less. It's just trying to improve every day. You mentioned the fact that you know you've got so many good guys in that room with you. How much are you feeding off them, and how much have you fed off those guys? Um, I would I would say um, I fed off everybody. Um, everybody has their own traits and skills, you know, their own mindset and everything. So I just learned from the older guys. You know, they come from different teams, and everything. Learning from Christian, um, Caleb. Learning from Elijah, Kevin, Amani, everybody really just helped me out along the way, and that's why I feel like this defense was so great last year because they helped with one another and want to see each other win. Your DC said that you know you came in almost like a veteran, not really a rookie. What is it that allowed you to kind of hit that ground running? Um, it was it, it was just trying to improve every day and no matter what, just be there for the team because I know this is great defense, so I'm trying to live up to their expectation. Like the standard of the defense, always put the effort as long as, as, long as you run, run to the ball, and basically stuff like that and just like learning from my mistakes and just trying to improve every day. That's how it was. And then with Kevin Byer, you know, at safety, he likes to take those risks or jump routes and those types of things. He said that really the trust that he has in his fellow DBs allows him to do that. How do you um, that's how it is um, with DBs by communicating and trusting one another. Um, I feel like it wasn't like, you know, I'm a, I'm a Ricky, so I feel like it wasn't there. I had to earn that trust, like running to the ball and stuff like that. And I feel like that, that's earning their trust. And like, that's great because guys like him, his mindset, I feel like they helped us out a lot because we always got to trust one another and always communicate. Roger, what's the biggest thing, though, that you can learn from a guy like KB, you know, with as much experience and as good as he's been in this league, what can you kind of take from him and apply as you get your career started? Oh, I would say it, basically what he said to me, what I learned that stuck out to me the most was, you know, some plays you have bad plays and stuff like that, but always going to the nets. And, um, I always try to, like, find the little mistakes and try to improve at that because they're going to build up to make you overall a great player. So it's basically that, just looking at them little mistakes and then communicating. That's new adjustments I had to learn, too. So it was just learning that stuff. I felt like that I learned from him that can help me a long way. That's something I will always take with me. Um, I mean, it's just an honor, you know, for, um, gaining the trust and respect from your teammates, um, especially, you know, going into my fourth year, um, you know, just to gain that trust from these guys by me coming in, you know, with the right mindset, right attitude each and every day to, you know, when they see me going out there, um, busting my tail each and every play, each and every uh, day, you know, not just on the field, but in the, um, in the meeting room. So, you know, that's just an uh, honor for me. I'm blessed to be in a position to be able to lead this team. Oh, well, we know he's a tough runner. You know, we know he he coming to try to, um, I guess, prove a point this year. You know, we're not gonna try to do no more than what our job is. You know, um, especially playing D line, we have to just, you know, attack the line of scrimmage. You know, one thing we talk about because we see Barkley on the field. You know, he wait for guys to peak. You know, um, one thing Brady talked about, you know, staying in our gap, you know, not being able, not being um, too nosy, you know, um, trying to share too early because he one of them guys that he patient, he'll bounce, the, bounce to these different gaps. So I think just us playing our gaps and uh, waiting until the ball declared to make plays. When we talked to Shane Bowen about just the growth he wants to see every year with you, he said, I just want Jeff to be Jeff, but just to continue to develop those fundamentals and stay strong on those. Is that kind of mindset for you? Oh, yeah, for sure, because, I mean, from, from my standpoint and uh, from what I gained from these coaches, you know, um, you know, it, it's be the small things that, you know, stopping me from making that extra play. And, um, you know, just the technique and fundamental, and that's, you know, say, for instance, my footwork wrong. You know, they're just slowing me down if I step inside instead of, you know, attacking upfield. So I think that's, you know, that's um, important to me and um, important to this team by me coming out here each and every day. Just keep on them, and especially with the coaches, you know, because Coach T always getting on me about, you know, my first step, you know, my hand placement. So that's just something that I, you know, I'm taking to heart each and every day to come in, try to um, be better each and every day with my technique and fundamentals. How much does this defense want to start the top on today? We have to, um, and um, that's start up front. You know, we up front going to win this game. And I said during camp, you know, we set the um, tone of the game. If we go out there, you know, first play of the game, you know, my mindset, they line up, they try to run the ball, let's get a tackle for loss. So, that's going to set the tone of the um, game. Yeah, specific. I mean, it depends on what type of situation, what kind of scheme it is. But yeah, I think uh, the tight ends have, I mean, they have a huge role. I think everybody, the thing that's different, different here and other places is everyone has a role in the run game, whether it's the quarterback, the receivers, how they're supposed to block the tight ends. The standard is extremely high for how guys finish. So, you know, it's good for everybody to be on the same page. You have to have that correspondence with 
Swain and Hooper. And those yeah, I have to use words Hooper. when I communicate with him on the line. I have to say things to him, and he has to like tell them back to me, and we have to make sure we're on the same page. How do you describe your uh, sort of mental, physical outlook you know, going into this year, a season mm. opener compared to a year ago? I mean, it's a year ago, a year ago. It has nothing to do with this year or 2022. For me, it's playing the game that I've been playing for a long time at a high level and in the same locker room. So. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm uh, staring down the barrel this noon practice right now, and then got the boys over for O-line dinner after this, and then, yeah, we'll be high-tailing it to Sunday. What's for dinner? I can't tell you that. Oh, that's some solid, some solid <laughs> stuff, though. I'm going to tell you. Hey, other than the fact that they have 11 guys, what, do you, what stands out about the Giants? Team? Yeah, they, um, they run. Some of them run fast. Some of them don't run as fast. I think sometimes they play man. Sometimes they don't play man, and that's something you really have to look out for. Uh, they blitz sometimes and don't other times, so that's important. Um, so we'll have our hands full for sure. Any memories or thoughts at all of how the season started at home a year ago, or you just put that completely out of your mind? No, this is a completely different year. I'm not going to focus on the past. I mean, even before I had that type of game in week one, I wasn't focused on the year before that before or the year before that. Like, it's a game. You move on and you move forward, and I was past that out of week two, so – you still get excited, get butterflies before season starts? Yeah, now? absolutely. As soon as I stop getting butterflies, I'll stop playing. So I've had a – I mean, it's it's outstanding to be here and, and play and um, be in the same stadium for nine years. So I'm, I'm looking forward to every single game. Sure, what is that? That? Uh, you haven't been here long enough, obviously. <laughs> 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 Creepy. Creepy. Look at it. Also, we have Spala, do you really have Spala? Somebody tell me what that is. Yeah. <laughs>